Welcome back to the Happy Hour, guys, and this week we are visiting the Spring House Brewing Company in scenic Conestoga, Pennsylvania. Now, if the name Conestoga sounds familiar, there's a good reason for that. Conestoga, Pennsylvania is where the world-famous Conestoga wagon used by the Western settlers was first invented. And today, Conestoga's rolling countryside is still home to farms and a thriving Amish community and one small, very adventurous, very successful brewery. We are here with... Mac Easy. And he is the head brewer here, and one of the founders? Yes. Owners? <laughs> yes, I am. He's one, of the, he's one of the big boss men, is what we're saying here. This is a pretty amazing building. This used to be a, a tobacco warehouse? The property was built in 1794. The house was built first, and then the tobacco barn was built. Now, I was here a couple years ago, and my good friend Andy Kindig, insert picture of Andy Kindig here, he introduced me to your, your Seven Gates, which I guess is sort of your flagship beer? Yeah, that's our uh, most widely produced beer. 2007 is when we first put Seven Gates into production. I actually made it on homebrew several years before. Won some uh, national homebrew competitions with that beer. And we're drinking, we're, we're drinking the, the Wit now, right? Right, the Belgian Wit. It's a Belgian style white ale. It's a spicy ale. It's brewed with coriander, orange peel, and it's aged on lavender. That's what makes this different for me, is that lavender. Because I'm picking up the floral notes there, like sort of towards the end, and it's, it really makes a big difference. It's delicious. Right, yeah. It, um, it's a, a subtle lavender taste that comes in the background, and um, I, re I really enjoy what that does to the beer. The, the lavender makes it different, but it's not overpowering. You're also making a name for yourself with some pretty big beers, too, and some unusual beers. Tell me about the the, guava, the Belgian guava. Personally, I've never even tasted a guava before I made that beer. I just wanted to do something different with that. also have a coffee stout, which is... Um, which is delicious. Yeah, that, that beer is probably second to the Seven Gates as our is best really? seller. We're getting ready to release a bacon maple porter. It's brewed with six gallons of maple, Vermont maple syrup, four pounds of bacon, and 40 pounds of hickory smoked malt. And I'm thinking about infusing it with some of the coffee stout as well, a couple kegs. So it'll be a true breakfast beer. <laughs> I'm thinking of moving to Conestoga, Pennsylvania. As of right now, you're distributed in the state of Pennsylvania only, is that right? That's really all we can keep up with, and it's not even the entire state. Basically, south central PA, down to Philly, up to Harrisburg. In February, you just opened your tap room in downtown Lancaster, right? Yeah, that's correct. We did that because uh, we couldn't maintain the number of people that were coming here, which is getting overwhelming for the space that we have up here. And you know, this slogan seems to really work for Springhouse because they are making incredibly inventive, incredibly flavorful beers and taking over their neck of the woods like you wouldn't believe. And now we're going to take you down to one of the signs of that success, their newly opened tap room in downtown Lancaster. And just like the brewery and its beers, it's quirky and fun, and it's allowing their beer to reach a much, much wider audience. We are here with Greg Kesey. Well, I guess you could call me the manager. Okay. But I have a feeling he's more than just the manager. I am more than just the manager. <laughs> I knew it! It's going so well that you actually, you were, you were only open for, uh, for like happy hour and dinner, and post dinner, and then recently in the last week you've opened up for lunch as well. That's correct, that's correct. We are now open six days a week, from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. Um, Monday through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, till midnight, 1 a.m. Now it's not just a tap room here, it is also, we have a little bit of a menu as well. It's a relatively robust menu. That you guys rotate... You, you always keep on your seven gates. I always see that on, on tap, but you kind of rotate everything else, right? That's correct. That's correct. We always have the, the seven gates, and we are um, usually have the diabolical Dr. Witt. So, I mean, that doesn't go off too often, but, you know, that's, that's one of the other staples. Because I've talked to people who live in Lancaster, and they said oh, nothing ever worked there. Like, there was a shop, there was a, a, ca a cafe or something. Lots, di lots of different things here. Um, and yet, here, you come in, and clearly the community is happy to have you here. Tell me a little bit about, about what it's been like coming into downtown Lancaster and, and, and how people have welcomed you. Well, um, they have welcomed us. It is nice. We are right next to uh, Lancaster's uh, beautiful central market. Neighbors have welcomed us and um, it's, it's really been, um, like you say, busy. Um, and we're just trying to keep up with the demand. So have been welcome to the neighborhood and we certainly appreciate that. Thanks again for taking the time. And you've been gracious uh, from day one. Thank you so much for we're opening your doors to there. us and, and, uh, and sharing uh, some of your great pleasure. beer. Text me. My name is Andy Kindig. <laughs>